dear students so before studying the topic of gravitation first we will study its interesting history as how the concept of gravitation was developed so we will study about nicolas copernicus tycho brahe johannes kepler galileo newton and some indian great scientist sages bhaskaracharya and aryabhatta Nicholas Copernicus was born in 1473 in Poland. He was a priest and an astronomer also. In this 15th century there was a widespread agreement of Ptolemaic theory which says that earth is the center of the universe. This was a time when church was supreme and church also believed the same. that earth is the center of this solar system but copernicus gave heliocentric theory which says that sun is the center of the universe and all planets revolve around the sun in circular orbits copernicus was very bold and that cost him death statement it is believed that he was burnt alive by 70 priests Next comes the great observer Tycho Brahe who lived in 16th century. Brahe was born in Denmark to very rich parents but was kidnapped and brought by his uncle at the age of 2 and his parents had no problem with that. Brahe was a brilliant mathematician. At the age of 20 once he had a heated argument with his cousin over a mathematics problem and the only one way to settle this dispute was a sword fight brahe challenged him for a duel and in the fight brahe lost a good chunk of his nose he wore a metallic and probably gold or copper nose throughout his life then he found interest in astronomy and started studying the stars he studied nearly 1000 stars a greater number than any person before him he could even observe the phenomenon of supernova the birth of a new star and all he had done was with his naked eyes he published his observations and became a celebrity king frederick of belgium gave him nearly 10% of his budget of belgium to make further observations and he also gave his personal island for his studies in this island brahe constructed a huge castle which consists of hundreds of rooms he recruited hundreds of scientists and started a detailed analysis of the solar system he had a publishing house also for printing his observations he constructed more than a dozen of extremely technical apparatus for observation some of them as big as a small house also and he made a detailed notes of his observations and accurate maps were also prepared he often arranged huge parties which were very lavish and he was a very stable drinker also brahe tamed a wild moose and they were alcoholic partners also he often challenged the moose in drinking beer before completely analyzing his work suddenly brahe died and his death is even now a mystery his body was again examined in 2012 and a huge amount of mercury was found in his body so he should have got this mercury from the medicine which he was using or somebody should have poisoned him it is also doubted that his assistant a young man johannes kepler who often had heated arguments with brahe might have poisoned him to inherit his notes and maps it is also believed that kepler might have stolen the work of brahe anyhow kepler started analyzing the work of brahe and it took him a long time 
to formulate the three laws of planetary motion. Actually, Tycho Brahe was trying to prove that Copernican theory was wrong and he was basically targeted towards the geocentric theory. That is, Earth is the center of the solar system and all planets were revolving around Earth. But when Kepler started analyzing this data, he found that planets are not in circular orbits, but they were in elliptical orbits with the Sun at one of the focal point or one of the foci. Then further studies were done and he formulated the three famous laws of planetary motion, which are called the Kepler's laws of planetary motion. The first law says that planets are revolving in elliptical orbits with the Sun at one of the foci. The second law says that the radius vector which connects the Sun and the planet it sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. And the third law says that the square of time period of any planet is directly proportional to cube root of the average distance between the sun and the planet. The observations of Johannes Kepler are so accurate that they are obeyed even till this modern day also. The next person we study is Galileo. Galileo was a famous musician and he was teaching music. He heard that some person named Johansson invented an apparatus through which objects can be magnified. Then he started making his own apparatus which could magnify objects as big as 30 times. This we call it as telescope. With this telescope, he started observing all the celestial bodies, sun, moon and other planets also. He started observing Jupiter and identified four moons of Jupiter. He even observed the dark spots which are present on the sun. He also observed moon and found its surface to be very rough. Then he published his findings in his book. The church came to know about his teachings and warned him of a death penalty. He was house arrested throughout his life and even he lost his eyes due to continuous observation of the stars. He was the most influential scientist in the sense of the great Albert Einstein. Then came a hundred years later the greatest of all the scientists Sir Isaac Newton. Newton formulated calculus, which is the most influential aid in mathematics. He explained the dispersion of light. White light is a combination of seven colors. If this white light is passed through a prism, then this white light gets dispersed into seven individual colors. Newton started studying the works of Copernicus, Kepler and Galileo. It is believed that Newton saw an apple falling to earth perpendicularly and wondered why it is not falling in opposite directions. So he understood that there is a force which is pulling this apple towards its center. Then he thought that apple must also be pulling earth and same thought he applied for earth and moon system also. Then he generalized this idea and said that there is a force of attraction between any two bodies in this universe and this is what we study as the famous universal law of gravitation. Was Newton the first person to explain gravitational force? Absolutely not. Bhaskaracharya discovered gravitation nearly 1200 years before Newton. He was an Indian saint. We understand it from the books he had written. He stated these laws in his book Surya Siddhanta. This we understand from some of the slokas from his book which are written in Sanskrit and he called this force as Dharanatmika Shakti. Now we study about the greatest of Indian sages 
ಆರ್ಯಭಟ್ಟ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಪೈ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಹೌ ಹಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೋಲರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆರ್ಯಭಟ್ಟಿಯಂ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಾಕಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೋನಾಮಿಕಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಚಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಮಾಡ್ರನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಯುರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಡೇ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹಿಸ್ಟರಿ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟೇಷನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ